Shalom, beloved. It is a word. Here today, O Yasharel, for we are calling a fast. We are going to blow the shofar in Zion and sanctify a fast. We're going to call a solemn assembly. All those that are brokenhearted, all those who feel lost, we are going to break strongholds today through the power of Yahuwah's word and according to his might and truth in eternity. Hear, O Yasharel. We are calling a fast. We are sanctifying a fast. Yeah. Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine, and ye shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. Yes, beloved, yes. We are calling a fast, a solemn assembly. Yes, beloved, yes. Some of us I have spoken to, we have written, even when we think about the last, the death angel that rolled over Egypt when it was coming for the firstborn, but the blood of the lamb was upon the doorposts of Yasharel's home. As we see that death angel in the midst of this nation and these lands, we are calling a solemn fast that Yahuwah remembers his beloved and hears us. When we look in the book of Psalms, Yah tells us they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. There are some of us, beloved, that though we are older, they are discouraged, but according to his word, we shall bring forth fruit until old age. They that wait on Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We are calling a fast beloved. Yes, yes, yes. You see, here where we live in this land, in the land of our enemies, in the lands that we have been taken to, Yeshua tells us that when it comes to the fruits that we bear, because we shall bear fruit, even in our old age, yes, yes, yes. But you got to remember every branch that is in Yeshua that beareth not fruit, he take it away. Mm. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Beloved, some of us are carrying old dead branches of things that are long gone in our lives. Old hurts, old angers, old worries, old fears. Believing that it's too late. But you are like a tree planted by rivers of living waters. Some of you are young and have lost your way. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, it is time for purging, beloved. Yeshua is not here to bring harm. It is the season of refreshing that he wants to bring. But in order for the purging to be complete, mm, 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 help me, Father, help me. Brothers and sisters, we got to repent. 
Yes, yes, yes. We got to repent and be converted that our sins may be blotted out. The purging, beloved, the purging. When the times of refreshing mm, woo, shall come from the presence of the Lord. It, what, from Yahuwah, your time of refreshing, beloved. Right now, there needs to be a purging so that you can bring forth more fruit. Mm -hmm. So that you can renew your strength, that you can mount up with wings as an eagle, that you can run and not be weary and walk and nothing. Yes, yes, yes. There's a word for you today. Some people I've spoken to, Yah has a word. This is for you, beloved. This is that time. It is the purging. But that solemn fast must be called. Some fasts are for three days. Some fasts, as we read through scriptures, the living word, are 10 days. Some fasts are 21 days. Some fasts are from morning to evening. Some fasts are for one day. Some fasts are for 21 days. There is even spoken in Yahuwah's word, the 40-day fast. But we know that it was Yeshua HaMashiach who fasted from food for 40 days and came out in the power of the spirit. But I would not suggest that 40-day fast for the average person unless the spirit of the Lord has come unto you and instructed you to do so. The only times that I know of in scripture where there was a 40-day fast, Yeshua HaMashiach, Moshe, when he went up on the mount in the cloud of the Most High, and Elijah, when the Lord fed him and gave him drink, and he moved in the spirit for 40 days off the food that he had eaten. Yes, yes, yes. But, beloved, Let's talk about Daniel. You see, as we repent, Lord, Father, we ask that you forgive us our sin. We know that Yeshua HaMashiach came for the sinner, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. We confess our sins one to another. We know that we are sinners. But you are faithful to forgive us. If we confess our sins, I am a sinner, but let the blood, that almighty life-giving blood of the Lamb be upon us and renew us, Father. Bless us and forgive us, for we repent. Many of us have fallen down. Lift us up in your word this day as we exalt our holy name and glorify and honor thee, thanking me that you sent Yeshua HaMashiach, to be our Redeemer, mm, mm, mm. Woo. our high priest, who goes in before us, pleading for us. Let his blood be upon us, now and forevermore, as we glorify thee in our Holy Spirit, come in. Give us that season of refreshing. Amen. Yes, beloved, we're going to talk about Daniel for a moment. We're going to talk about Daniel's fast and the blessings that can come upon you when you are fasting, beloved. I'm in 1st Daniel chapter 1, or I'm sorry, the book of Daniel chapter 1. You see, Yah had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. When Nebuchadnezzar, when they captured the children of Judah, when they captured Jerusalem and besieged it, and Daniel and the other three were taken, Yah had brought Daniel into favor. See, the fast, beloved, does this fast, Favor is going to come upon you. You have to fast and pray. Wait a minute. And I am fasting as we speak. 
I have chosen to do the 10 day fast, beloved. I am going to attach a sheet to this so that many of you can go through, read it, and find those scriptures in it as well. Yah had brought Daniel into favor and tender love mm, with the prince of the eunuchs. Now, just to tell you what Daniel had determined, okay, Daniel had determined that he would only eat pulse, which is vegetables, fruit, and drink water. He did not want to eat from the king's table. And he went on his fast for 10 days. But after 10 days, mm, at the end of 10 days, when Daniel and his three companions had fasted and they came to look upon them, their countenances appeared fairer, more beautiful, more supple, more bright, glowing, and fatter in flesh than all <clears throat> the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Mm. Now, for that fast, that the blessing that it came down on, mm, mm, mm. wait a minute now, God gave them knowledge, Ooh. skill in all learning and wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dream. You see, beloved, when you fast and pray, you're bringing in power. You're breaking strongholds. You're winning favor with both Yahuwah and men. He will cause thy enemies to be at peace with thee. He will give you favor. He will change people's minds about you. While he changes you yourself, when you begin to go through the purging and that season of refreshing comes in, those strongholds in your life will be broken. Some of us spend too much money. Some of us are suffering from addictions. Some of us have enemies and people that afflict us, those strongholds. Some of us have children that are strange, those strongholds. He will send in a season of refreshing, yes, yes, yes. And the blessings will overtake you, beloved. We are calling a solemn fast. We are calling a fast because the nation have turned their backs on Yahuwah. We're asking Yahuwah to come in and save us. We watch that putrid, odious, hateful abomination of what they did at the beginning of the Paris Olympics. Dishonoring Yeshua HaMashiach in the Last Supper. We know it's the last day. But you see, as that angel of death rolls through, because judgment has come, we want to be sealed with the blood of the Lamb, having repented of our sins, being purged so that we bear more fruit, more fruit. Yes, beloved. Just because you're in the world, we are we know we are not of it. Here, Yashare. We are calling a solemn fast. We know that through that fast, Yah, who is a favor of no one, what he does for one child, he will do for you. What he gives me, he will give to you. He gives freely. He will do above and beyond anything we could ever hope or imagine. He will heal what the doctors say can't be healed. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. It's a fast puller. Yes, yes, yes. He can give you knowledge, that divine revelation knowledge, wisdom. Mm, mm, mm. Understanding in all visions and dreams, those visions, beloved, mm -hmm. fast and pray. Whether you choose to fast from morning to night, whether you choose to do a juice fast, 
Some people with vegetables and fruit along with water. Some people only doing a water fast. Some people abstaining from both water and bread from all foods. But those of you who may have health issues, I would suggest fruit and vegetables and water. You can do a juice. Nothing bought from the store. It has to be natural, beloved. And watch the purging. Watch the purging. He's going to purge your branch. Yes, yes, yes. That you bring forth more fruit. Yes, he will. Mm. And the season of refreshing is going to come in. He's going to change people's minds about you. He's going to close the mouths of the lions that come up against you. He's going to give you favor, shocking favor. It is word below. We have called down a solemn fast. I am fasting with you. It is a word beloved. Shalom.